Hey guys, welcome to Atlas of Nutrition. My name is Summer and today I thought I would bring you along as I make some freezer meals for those summer days where you just cannot spend an hour in the kitchen to cook dinner. It'll be easy to set them out to defrost in the morning and then pop them in the oven or cook them on the stovetop when it's getting close to dinner time. It'll be a lifesaver for us. On my list here, I have chicken fried rice, which is my fried rice recipe just with some added chicken for some more protein. We'll also be doing stuffed bell peppers, meatballs, and some kind of potato soup. I did make freezer pancakes last night because we did a breakfast for dinner type of meal, so I just made a bigger batch of pancakes and I'll talk more about that in a bit. I have a lot to do before Little Man wakes up, so this might turn into a two-day freezer cooking just because I'm short on time. All of the recipes that I will be using will be linked in the description box down below, as well as some of the stuff we talk about as we go along. So let's get started. So I'm just gathering up all the ingredients and thinking through what I need to do. I'm gonna get the chicken started in the Instant Pot. Frozen chicken in the Instant Pot with a little bit of chicken broth, probably half a cup of chicken broth. It will be perfect juicy and great to shred in 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how much chicken you have. So I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. It's already set, so that's awesome. Next, I'm going to get the rice going because I do have leftover rice from last night's dinner, which will be great for the fried rice. Maybe it's not enough for the fried rice. It might be great for the stuffed bell peppers because that's a rice and bean mixture, but I'm still going to make an extra cup or two of rice. So let's get that going. can never have enough fried rice on hand, and my son loves it. That's probably his favorite meal that I make. And I inevitably spilt it all over the kitchen, so that's awesome. So the chicken is in the Instant Pot, and the rice is going. I wanted to show you guys really quick, because we go to Costco maybe once every six weeks or once every two months and stock up on vegetables. So we bought a bunch of bell peppers. It was a variety pack of six, and I knew we weren't gonna go through them as fast, so I diced them up and flash froze some of them. I used probably half this bag last night, but there's dice, and then I also cut the tops off and cored two of them for stuffed bell peppers another time, and then I have two still fresh ones because I thought we would have stuffed bell peppers before this time. So I'm gonna be using both the hollowed out ones already and the fresh ones for the stuffed bell peppers and then the diced bell peppers will go in the fried rice. And cooking frozen, this it's perfect, it's fine. We'll make it work.
So as I rinse and drain these beans, I thought now would be a good time to let you guys know if you are planning on doing freezer meals, not to solely follow somebody else's example. When I was, oh my gosh, nine months pregnant, um, about ready to pop, I did somebody else's freezer meal plan and I made a bunch of meals, probably 10 meals for the upcoming weeks. And we probably only ate five of them. So make sure that if you do freezer meals that you cater to your needs and make what you enjoy and what you would regularly cook. So I'm gonna get these vegetables started. A trick that I learned that actually makes it a little bit better for the fried rice is sauteing the vegetables in sesame oil. I had never thought of it before, but we love sesame oil, so I'm just going to drizzle it on the pan and start sauteing my vegetables. I gotta wait for that to heat up first. So for the stuffed bell peppers, usually I would use black beans, but red kidney beans is all we have right now, so we'll make that work. And then my recipe for stuffed bell peppers is ridiculously easy. Um, beans, rice, and taco seasoning. Put it in a bell pepper, put some cheese on it, and when you're ready to make it, just pop it in the oven. are a combined protein itself, meaning you have to have the beans with the rice to get the full protein. So that's why I'm doing like a vegetarian kind of stuffed bell pepper because it has all the nutrients you need right there. You don't need to add any extra, but if you want to, by all means, go ahead. Then the frozen bell peppers I mentioned earlier are already hollowed out, already washed, perfectly ready to go. They actually won't take as long to freeze over as the raw ones. button for a second right here so I can explain an important detail. My camera decided to stop recording, but I finished putting the cheese on top of the bell peppers as well as wrapping them. I did a double layer of aluminum foil to prevent freezer burn. Double wrapping can be aluminum foil then plastic wrap, two bags, or aluminum foil on aluminum foil. But as long as there's a double layer, it'll last in the freezer much longer without freezer burn. Then I placed them in a bag with directions and moved on to the fried rice. So my vegetables are now done. I just heard my rice go off. I don't have a pan big enough for my aspiration of this freezer meal, so I'm going to move the vegetables back into this tin um, and then scramble the eggs, cook them until they're slightly underdone, mix it all back together, finish cooking it, add the rice, add the chicken, add the soy sauce, and it's good. quick while I'm sauteing and shredding, the pancakes that I made last night are sourdough pancakes. That just means that the flour was fermented and it's overall easier to digest because the grains are already broken down. The pancake recipe that I use includes honey, so the pancakes themselves are already very sweet and perfect for a grab out of the freezer, on the go kind of breakfast. We're gonna love this for when we wake up and it's so beautiful outside that we just have to go exploring immediately. 
Now you don't have to use a sourdough recipe for freezer pancakes. Any batter works as long as you flash freeze them. That means laying them on a baking sheet individually, freezing them for a couple of hours, and then compiling them into a container. I just have sourdough starter on hand, and my family loves the farmhouseonboon.com recipe. I'll link it in the description box below, but you can use whatever pancake mix you enjoy, and it's a good breakfast on the go. everything in here. don't mind the giant stack of dishes behind me. Um, so what I'm gonna do with the fried rice is I'm gonna put them in small Ziploc baggies. These are, these are the snack size, just because my son loves to eat fried rice and if I'm making something and he doesn't want to eat it, I can always just grab a quick little bag, heat it up on the stove top and serve it to him. So I'm gonna do a couple of those. And then the other one, the other container that I'll be doing is regular sandwich size Ziploc bags, just because that's better than a gallon Ziploc bag. We have a small family, so if I put it all in a gallon or a big casserole dish, then we're not gonna eat all of that. It'll just go right back into the fridge, right back into the freezer. So I don't wanna waste food, so I would rather do smaller portions and then take more as we need. 